Good morning, lovelies. It's video time. Yes, it is. It's video time. I'm back. This is Studio Life. I'm Faith Honey B. Sally, and welcome to my channel. Now, um, I've been gone a little bit longer than what I would have liked to be gone. I've been out more than I've been in, and bopping about to appointments and all, uh, involving, hopefully, fingers crossed, the last leg of the government bit of my parents' estate bonk basically and um after that there'll just be like bits and bobs to sort out before hopefully i can find a bigger studio now also logan got sick really sick but uh he's better now no clickbait um so i made a video on his health update it's on my personal channel under the name faith on be Setley. and if you love logan like i love logan and you want to check out how he's doing and have a look at my baby Pop on over to my personal channel and have a little looky-loo. It'd be awesome. Thanks lots. So, all in all, it's been a little bit airy. No, <laughs> not like that. Okay. Um. So, what we're doing this morning, we are actually going to get round and I'm going to show you how to make metallic washes. Yay! Yes, I'm excited about that as well. Uh, thank you very much. We are going to make some metallic washes this morning. I am going to show you how to do it. Because normally I just have them made and use them on a painting. And it occurred to me that a lot of people are probably wondering, how does she make them? So there's two types I want to make, but due to time allotment, because I really want to show you what goes in it, how to do it. Um, I'm going to do two videos. Wait for the screaming to die down. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to make two videos because I want to take the time to show you how to do it properly. So, um, there's lots of other washes I do. There's lots of other metallic washes I do. But these are just two uh, of the ones I want to show you. This first one's going to be a basic. But before we get started, I want to show you also what's in that bag. Stop it. <laughs> go away okay people bugger me now um first off we're gonna do a shout out uh i want to say thank you i always want to say thank you i love you guys you guys are incredible you rock you keep me going you make all this possible uh, i cannot do all this without you so um thank you for subscribing following on facebook instagram youtube deviantart dayflash twitter you name it if you are new to my channel and you like what i do uh, by all means, subscribe. There's a thing you write down here. So subscribe, click it. Hopefully, fingers crossed, you will get notifications on updates and all kinds of fun stuff what goes on on this channel. Um, also, if you guys could do me a solid, I'd so appreciate that. I've asked you before and you've knocked it out of the park. You guys are so amazing. Click to like the video itself because that bumps me up in the ranks of YouTube. And more people get to see the video. And if I can help more people uber cool now what all do we need for this well before we say anything shout out to the makers of this drink right here uh gatorade makes this drink it's called powerade uh it's mixed berry it's an electrolyte drink 710 milliliters makes my life just a little bit easier so thank you to those people now we're going to set that aside um and if you would like a really good electrolyte drink? Go check that out. Now, what's in this bag? Right here. I'm going to dig into it, if I can. This is from the Get You Goblin in Annabur. Bye bye. And all of this is in this bag. What are these? What do you think these are? <laughs> They're brushes. And these are really cool brushes the they're made of some plastic some rubber for really good grips but they don't shade now I'm, I'm not real sure what these brushes the bristles are made out of themselves i'm gonna have to bop in and ask about that um because they do not shed i really love these brushes but they're bloody expensive um but good quality uh well actually no i tell a lie good quality can come from from less expensive or more expensive doesn't really matter but these are I guess whatever company they get these from um, they are really good 
Uh, this set alone is thirteen dollars. Yeah. So all of this lot right here, and I'll talk more about these in another video. Cost me seventy five dollars. I will wait for the screaming to die down. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so we're gonna set these aside. We need one of these actually to make this metallic wash right here. So what else do we need? We need shot glasses, plastic ones which you can get from the dollar shop. They come in a 30 pack variety of sizes. I happen to like medium size right here. Um, so we're gonna set them aside as well. And we've got the victim of the day, which is, if you can see this, my mop brush. My, what number are you, little love? My three quarter mop brush. Now, <laughs> you'll see why I call it the victim of the day in a minute. Um, also, I'm gonna move this camera boop, 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 right down here so maybe you can see what I'm doing. That would help. <laughs> Durr. Now, ha, <sighs> we are taking our shot glasses and putting a little bit of water in them. Not much, you can see that. There we go. And we're also using the Deco Art Metallics. This is a medium metallic, and I'll be doing another video on why that is and the variety of metallics as well. This is Silver Argent, okay? It's by Americana. Americana Decor, actually. And it's a really cool, the lid off, metallic. Now, you can see here, it's a bit oily. Now, sometimes what happens is there's a bit of oil comes up on the top, about that much and for some effects it's real great if you just leave it alone and mix it um i actually am going to mix this up with this hence the victim so we're just going to stir this up a little bit this is a basic metallic wash we're not getting fancy this is just a basic metallic and I'm actually going to need just one of these shot glasses for the moment. Bye-bye. So we're going to stir this up. And then, if you can see me, drizzle. We're just going to drizzle. And it gets quite messy. And what you do is you just drizzle about. Underneath here is a test canvas from the dollar shop as well. Because um, I like to do swatches and all kinds of uh, little sketches and testing out paint on, on things like this. I don't recommend them for serious painting. And I explain that in my video question time. Where I tell you all about the differences between flat canvases and regular stretch canvases. So what we're going to do. We've drizzled that in there, our poor mop brush. Now we're going to take this from the Giddy Goblin, and we're just going to mix this up. Now we've got the water, we've got the metallics. I do a lot of things that people, and part of my hands are shaking because I'm still dealing with mold issues. Sorry. Um, I'm better. I'm so much better than I was, but there's still issues. Now we're going to test this out and see what it looks like. Also, by the time I do my second video, this will dry and I can come back and show you what it looks like. Ha <laughs> ha! There is method in my madness or madness in my method. Now, For people who tell you that you can't mix water with metallics, wrong. Okay, so if you want, that's about the medium style silver. Silver tends to mix up a wee bit easier, and I bought my camera, sorry, um, than gold. But they're still just as much fun to work with. Now, that's, that's a little heavier 
than what I do normally but I wanted to show you what that looks like and we're going to set this aside and we're going to set this down I'm actually going to knit another um, if I get the lid off, there we go another one of these pays to have more than one on the go at a time and set this aside take this talk about rag right here and we're just going to wipe this off quite quickly because we're at 10.33 already time flies when you're having fun my loves okay really wipe that off because we don't want the silver and the gold bye bye now we are going to take this and we're going to take our second little bit pop the lid off sometimes these metallics will seal themselves shut which is just so much fun but then you've got to um really work the thing you've got to uh run it under a bit of uh hot water so that it will loosen and then you can get a lot of lid off blah, 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 really simply so again mop brush this is 24 karat gold by again deco art americana decor metallics so and again my hand's shaking sorry about that um i'll get around it there's still squiffy stuff in my flat what i've got a bin also um the smiths use are here as well so um hopefully when i get into a, a another area another flat um with a studio bigger studio i will be on the road to complete recovery yay so we're stirring this up with the poor mop brush again and now if i can see what i'm doing again we're going to drizzle it gold takes a little longer and i'm at 12 36 already so we're just going to really blob it <laughs> look at that oh my word there we go we're just going to really blob that sucker in because i'm running out of time um come on you there we go how did i discover how to do all this just mocking about actually taking things what i've been told can't be done and doing it so again another brush from the get your goblin try and scrape a bit of this off the side come on all the way down please and thank you there we go now you can tell this looks lighter the gold has a bit of a hard time mixing with the water and you just work it now what happens is as this dries it blends so that you just get a shimmer of gold and it looks really cool don't be afraid to try things you know um you might find stuff which really causes some really cool effects so i gotta go i ever want to post this facebook as well as youtube and all that so hopefully you like this video um i have to admit a little bit nervous because i've been gone for a while so um love you thanks lots for watching Mwah.